morning guys welcome to today's video today is Thursday oh my goodness and we have a little mini who's not happy all her friends <laughs> are still inside hold on I was gonna throw this door open so I could clean the arena and she came walking in Willow's been getting a little chubby the last few days the last week or so she's broached a whole new new weight level so we've been taking her off the whoa <laughs> We've been taking her off the grass a little earlier than the other horses, but her friends are coming now. They're all getting chubby. It's been a, a bountiful summer. <laughs> I trained your horse to not race, but walk slowly. My horse does not even race. She walks slowly. <laughs> okay, this is the phenomenon. I only make her walk ahead. Of, I only let her walk a little bit ahead of me hey. if I hey. have the Fake. camera. Fake. <laughs> Fake. Fake. Whoa. Okay. I'm surrounded by animals. Ew, you had water. I have water all over me. Look, Ruby, go. That's disgusting. Anyways, so I noticed something today that I have never really talked about, or maybe I have, but all horses are trained, all animals are trained to their own people. And when you switch up their people, they act totally different. Kids are the same, dogs are the same. They're all the same all week. I have been taking, five days a week I take the horses out, two days a week Sam takes the horses out, and then every day of the week the girls bring them in. Like when we, our dogs are so good for us, but then when we go away and we have people come and stay at our house to take care of our pets, they're like, oh my gosh, your dogs. They bark in the night and they never bark in the night. It's just because they're antsy, like they don't understand. If I'm home alone at night, and everybody else goes like to the movies or something then they uh, bark and bark they hear noises everywhere they are running to the window like i don't know if it's they're waiting for the other people to come back or if they're like can't figure out what's going on like where is everybody but it, it's like this phenomenon and it happens to like all animals all people maybe it's better if you take your pets to somebody's house and let them babysit them but anyways i've seen it in so many different circumstances but horses definitely do that too i've been um walking chino out every day for like a week and a half maybe and every day he drags me to the field the first day he like dragged me to the field and i had to stop him and back him up and chino? then yeah yeah he only walks bad with you yeah because he doesn't know me he doesn't know like so i had literally had to back him up and stop I, he walks perfectly fine for me except for he wants to eat grass yeah and i have literally had to what the heck are you doing She's itching her face that is not for itching She's itching it on the standard. Oh, I didn't catch it. It took me literally this whole entire week to get him to the point where he's like, oh yeah, you make me listen. Like, animals act differently. And then also Willow. All week Willow has been like, ah, you're not the boss of me. And I had to be like, yes, I am the boss of you. And make her stand still while I take the halter off because she tries to jerk her head. <laughs> See? You are no. really bad with leading horses. No. Well, that's not it. She is perfect for you. Mm -hmm. Gabby's horses are perfect for oh. her because that's what you've taught you her. Know. We have exciting news on the Day by Day Farm. Tell them. We've been letting our chicken hatch eggs and today there was a baby chicken. I'll show you the photos. Yeah. Send me the photos and I'll just insert them into the video. I want to show them. All right. She wants you to see. But you know, they're not going to be like, oh, that's so cute, Sophie. You can't hear them. It's the same. So this is the very first chick. And it's adorable. And there's a possibility that it's a pure bred silky. silky chick, painted silky chick. Because she, by the time she started laying her first egg after we got her, she could still have been awesome. fertile from the rooster where she was. And then maybe the first two. Well, in this one, you can see her puff. Yeah, you can see she's going to have a little. Or he. Yeah, it's going to be a The silky. eyes look weird. No, that's what silkies look like. But it's so, like a deep blackness hole. Yeah, so it was exciting. And then there was some drama in the chicken coop. And we went out there to see if any eggs had hatched. Then one of our other chickens, that's an Easter egg or chicken, she's gone starting to go broody. And she wants to like steal half the other chicken's eggs. And we're like, no, we can't handle any more of this broodiness. It's awful. Broodiness is awful. We chased her around chicken area and we put her in water to try and cool her down and also, see if that works. Also, this happened today. This happened. The Sophie found another big fat toad. It's Toby the Toad. Toby the Toad. Gabby named it. Yeah, I named him. Toby. And then it ran away. 
Toby the Toad. Toby the Toad. Yeah, looking fat. Wow, he is so cute though. Chino has been cleared. He's allowed to go for some walks and see how he does. He seems like he's doing really great. So Gabby and I are gonna go on a small trail today and see how it goes. I just walked outside and the girls were just automatically cleaning up. Dropping on me. Oh, that's good, Gabby, because I want us to go on a trail down here today. I want us to go like on the back. No. Why? We'll just go on the road this evening. But do you think Chino's feet will be okay on the road? Chino will be fine. All right, you should pick them before and after, which we always pick them before, but you should pick them after just to make sure there's no little stones. Okay, good. <laughs> no, you have to keep going. Yeah, Gabby's... The top part, I fixed that part. So, yeah, Gabby yeah. is still 10 nails in. Tomorrow will be two weeks. How many nails do you have after two weeks? The girls got their nails done two weeks ago tomorrow, and Gabby still has 10, and Sophie still has 10. It's the first. I really need to get in here and clean out our barn because, oh, actually we're going to need that because Sophie's going to be showing Denver at a away show. Um, anyways, we, Chino also has these scoop boots. I should clean them. Uh, he came with these. He had them before. Uh, he's not always had shoes. He's never, like, he didn't have shoes when we got them. And in the past, he's ridden these when he's gone, like, on trails and stuff. I'm hoping and wishing and praying that maybe we could get him back to no shoes. I'm hopeful. I think shoes maybe. I don't know. It's a possibility. We've been trying so many possibilities to see what we can do to make him feel his best. We literally have like this path. We have like an area up there we can ride. We have like all down in there we can ride. I hate riding on the road because of cars. I'm not a car lover. Ta -da! Spot. I knew it was going to be a spotted one. So this is the one that... <laughs> It's going to be like his mom. It's an Easter egg. -er. Is it an Easter egg? -er? Yeah, you can see the cheeks. Oh, that sucks. It's a spotted Easter egg -er silky. That's great. I wanted it to be a purebred silky. Does it have the silky head? I don't know, but I don't. Oh, you're so cute. It's cold out today, isn't it? Oh, that's what I'm saying here. She's literally the cutest little thing. So it's an Easter egg -er for sure. Which means that our rooster is the dad, and then she spotted like the mom. I'll show you the mom and the dad. Anyway, it's so cute. We love her. She's so nice and warm. Or he. Or he. Don't, be a girl. Yeah, don't be a he. <laughs> She's gonna go oh, back with her mom. Oh, on his head. Yeah, it's adorable. Don't little peck it. She's like, what do I do? She's like, I know it's my baby. But it's not your baby anymore. It's been adopted. So every day for the next two weeks, we could have baby chicks. It's just gonna be too much. I might end up changing like what we're gonna do because what if we put her in a different area? You mean in that little bucket? Yeah, bed? you wanna do it? We might change her around so it's safer. I think that's what we're gonna do. You guys know I told you Penny was in heat the other day. She's one of those messy horses that pees all down her leg. So I put Vaseline on her. So she doesn't get burned. But literally, it's all the way down to her feet. And then when you go to wash it off, the Vaseline is just a mess to wash off. But honestly, I definitely think she enjoys it though. Update on the wipe bug spray. So when I went to the store to buy bug spray, they said, not the store people, but some people shopping. So this is the best bug spray. It's a wipe on. Sounded interesting. It sounded intriguing. Uh, intriguing. I don't like it. I don't like it because it's a me it's messy. It's so messy, and I'd be willing to put up with like messy, except for that you use so much more. Like you, I'm. You use like this bottle is almost to the W in wipe, and I've used it once. This is my second time. Like. It's not user friendly and it's definitely not economical. It was $70 or something for that little bottle. Gabby said, don't get it, don't get it, don't get it, mom. The thing I hate the most about it is how messy it is. It gets all over your hand, it's oil based. So after you're all done like rubbing it on them, then, and it's more time consuming, after you're done rubbing it all over them, then uh, you have to go wash before you can even do anything and honestly i don't know they say it works so much better i don't know how much better it worked but i know it did not work longer there's no way it worked longer it didn't like seem to be a difference at all to me i am gonna put it up here on her pool in the back of her ears and she's like don't do that 
But Penny has to happen. Has to happen. And it's good for washing it like on their face, I guess. But I don't like it. I won't buy it again. All right, so this is the plan. Stan, you are going for a trail ride with me and a boy. That one. The one that you've been like having breakfast with every day. Bug spray seems to be working now. Like she's nose. bug spray. You ready? She's like, oh no. So, so ideally these rings would be in these knots and hang out and not be between here. So ideally, like it's not touching your face, this metal at all. Ideally it would be different. I love my rope halter and I could order one that has these already put in it. But I'm just trying to see if I could just make it work because I love it so much. So that's what it looks like. But look at you guys. These are my favorite reins. These are my, Sam's like, what did you do? These are my favorite reins. And I could take the, the thing off, the knot off, and just use this so that there's no metal across her face, around her face. That would be like the biggest fix of anything. The reason I used... I had the other one. I just want to see what one sits better. I don't like that one because then like the buckles against her face kind of... Yeah. So anyways, I could just... My friend sent me a picture today of reins without the buckle. Just has this. And I, that's what I'm going to end up doing. I'm going to take this all off and just attach my reins to there. That's the plan, Stan. All right, I think we're ready. Penny's like, I'm not going. Stan. So Gabby is riding Chino bareback. I gave her that idea. Sophie gave her the idea. <laughs> what? <laughs> Good golly. Penny, no. <laughs> How long's it been? How long has it been? She's like, he's doing it. I just don't know. I think it'll be okay. But I'm gonna I'm gonna ditch the ring idea and use the rain idea for my next ride. And she's up. It didn't hurt him, but he was terrified. He's like you should have put bug spray on him. I put it on my mare and I noticed she's still getting bitten. If I could run with you My horse is trying to get close to Gabby's horse or her horse is trying to get close to us. So on my trail ride with my friend, I learned that I learned about my biggest mistakes all this time have been at my position. I need to sit my butt on my seat bones. And once you do that, so many things fall to together. Yeah, my girl, my girl is fast. I mean, she's not fast, but she's not lazy. And she likes to move. She likes to go home. But since that ride, she kind of gets it. The other thing I noticed is that if I turn my body where I want to go, my horse just goes there like perfectly. And from what I have heard, you do the same thing too. Okay. Jay, my thighs hurt. I said yeah. Jay. We could be good together. Guess misery loves company. Better to late than never. You know we could do better. So take a chance and run with me. It's because he is a mare. He is a mare. Oh, green. He ate some grass before I got on. He wants to eat more. All right. Mama. No. Oh, good. Got the ponies over there screeching and yelling. We got my girl here, boy, <laughs> in the back. How was it? Good. Good. Tina, were you a good boy? I'm proud of you for riding. <laughs> I'm proud of you for riding bareback. I want to learn to do that, he but he only turn uses turns his head right. Yeah, he always tries to eat the reins and the grass. That was so fun. It was fun because I figured out so much, and I feel so much more comfortable. You're sweaty and covered in horse hair. No, but my legs are. Don't worry, I'm sitting on Tino. 
They look so cute. You're so cute, Chino Bambino. He's a dark mouse. Gabby, I've never seen that much dirt on your pants before. It looks like he's shedding saddle stain. Yeah. Wow, he sweats so fast. Penny's probably covered in sweat too. All right, let's go. <laughs> on that longer trail ride, I was able to figure out like I need to sit back into my saddle and sit on my seat bones. And as soon as I figured that out, it changed everything. Now, if I perch forward, I notice right away I'm perched forward. What you guys meant when you said relax, is sit back onto your seat bones. I was always perching forward, so I wasn't putting my full weight on her back. And I get why that's wrong, but it was hard for me. So now that I figured that out, I think like, I think we got it. And also the other thing is that when we were turning to go places, if I just turn my body and look where I want to go, like if I just look where I want to go, even slight this horse, she just turns. Like she just goes. Like I, I don't have, she's so good, you guys. Like she's so good. So those are the two things. She was perfect. She did not do a single bad thing. Do I think she likes to just walk around the yard? No. Do I think she loves to go out and do things? Yes. Um, do I think that she did it for me and she didn't care and she just went because she knew she had to go? Yes. Did she go with Chino, who she's not really in love with yet and not even complain? Yes. Like, my girl can go with any horse. She's in love with him. I don't know what you're Gabby says she's in love with him. Okay. It's perfect. Both sides. Perfect. So when I pull it, it will be like this. Nice and smooth against her skin. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work. We'll see. But I like how it looks a lot better. I actually can't believe it. I can't believe it happened again. I had an uncomplicated ride on my horse at home with no attitude, no issues. I think we're headed in the right direction. Don't you know that you're beautiful?